Good evening and welcome to the Everett School Committee Ad Hoc Superintendent Subcommittee. Um, the time is 6.06 .06, and if we could have a roll call vote, Mr. O'Connor. Ms. Cristiano. Present. Mr. Mangan. Present. Chairwoman Lambert. Present. All three of you here. And also in attendance is Superintendent Tahiliani. And uh, before we begin, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, first item on the agenda, Mr. O'Connor. Yes, uh, item number one is to establish a timeline and deadlines regarding the review materials needed for the uh, superintendent's evaluation. Thank you. Um, I will open it up to the committee. You need to have a few more, few more. No, please. Um, I will um, I'll start off. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Um, just, so this is my first time on this, but you know we have some of the stuff from last year, the rule work and everything else. We have the superintendent's entry report that was probably was given out last year, I guess, was it? Um, and uh, certainly the, uh, the information that we have from the um, Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, we're reviewing it, you know, and how we're supposed to go. The, uh, the, the whole process. Uh, this is not going to be something that's done overnight. This is going to be something that's going to take certainly probably a few months for us to go through and do this do this properly. I know there's all you know the, all these different steps, um, and so I just uh, first so that the, the first thing I would have through you, Madam Chair, to the superintendent, if you could just discuss. Um, I know there's there's like what four or five steps here that I'm looking at and um, so the, the first thing it says is self-assessment so if you could just explain that for us to view sure so um, you have a sheet before you too uh, that has all of the indicators on it mm -hmm. um, so at the at the end of my evaluation last year um, we chose indicators that I would focus on this upcoming year. Uh, the ad hoc committee and myself chose them together uh, based on the findings from last year's evaluation. So the items that I thought I needed to focus on and the ad hoc subcommittee thought I needed to focus on. Um, so as the self-assessment, I would prepare a several documents or a document last year it was two very large binders um, along with um, along with some crosswalks that explain what the indicators are what the artifacts were that I was providing to demonstrate proficiency in those indicators so this year I will be doing something similar um, I have been collecting artifacts on all of the indicators um, but es especially on the ones that we chose to focus on in particular but I do have artifacts for all of the indicators so I would compile that that would go to all of the school committee members not just those on the ad hoc subcommittee they would then complete the evaluation form which would come to the ad hoc subcommittee um, and then my uh, cumulative evaluation would be written um, and scored based on everybody's individual scores. Right. So just uh, this would all be done, from, and I, if I'm not understanding this correctly, um, would all be done through this actual committee. So like I said, it would be set up, everything, we get, we get the information. The other uh, school committee members would be able to comment on the different sections. It would come back to us and then we would issue a final report out of this committee, correct? Not through the regular, just so everybody, what people know, it's not through the regular school committee, it's through this subcommittee. Uh, from the chair, just a point of clarification. So how the, the system that we established last year with the okay. help of MASIC was that they recommended that there be one point person that does the compilation. So the survey, uh, the evaluation goes out to each individual member and is returned to a single member, Correct. which is item yeah, two. Yeah, I did read that. And then that's compiled, reviewed by this committee, and then sent to the full committee, which does have final. So the full committee does have the final 
approval, but it's like a report of the subcommittee. Okay, okay. So, uh, Madam Chair, so with that, and I did read that about, re you know, report one person would handle all that information you just spoke about. Would, um, would you be comfortable being that point person, or is it something that being the person for this committee? If on item two you want to make that motion, that's... I, uh, okay, uh, I would I, actually, so I would make that in the form of a motion. She seconds it. Okay, motion has been made and seconded to designate um, myself as chair as the designated person responsible for the compilation of evaluation materials. Mr. O'Connor, if you could roll call vote just for sake mm -hmm. of. Ms. Cristiano? Yes. Mr. Magan? Yes. Chair Lambert? Yes. Three in the affirmative. Zero in the negative, you are the designated compiler of information. Thank you, that has passed. Um, are you all set? Yeah, okay. yeah I'm sorry. Uh, from the chair, if I could ask Madam Superintendent, um, what is the timeline you would, you would feel comfortable establishing to have your um, self-assessment done? And I think from there, we can determine when the evaluation can go out. Um, so absolutely, so already I have compiled a number of artifacts like I mentioned, but I would like to make sure they're sort of streamlined into a comprehensive document um, divided by indicator um, and presented in a way that it's easier for the, all of the school committee members to kind of um, go through. Um, we've already begun that process um, and so I think um, that by end of September early October, I should be able to get that to all of the school committee members if that's acceptable. Yes, but that's fine by me. Yeah, like I said, I just, uh, no, I, I think that's great. And, um, no, and also going forward, um, Madam Chair, is this um, kind of like the timetable we want to use, no matter whoever's on this ad hoc committee going forward, this time period, maybe late August and Tanda, and I don't know if that works for you. Now, Madam Superintendent, going forward, you know, so it's, it's, everything is kind of, we kind of, everyone knows what to expect and when to expect it. I, my personal feeling is that it aligns with the academic school year well and kind of sets the tone for going forward and allows the superintendent, because that was part of the reason I hadn't scheduled this earlier was because I felt like everybody deserves the full evaluation period. If you give a year to complete goals, you should get a year to complete those goals. So um, if in respect to that, I, I would even entertain a motion that moving forward, we establish that as a policy of the committee. Yeah, I, I would actually love to make that in the form of a motion, Madam Second. Chair. That, so I would say is that the, um, the last week, if we could use, uh, you know, within reason, but I would say the last week in August, mm -hmm. we, set a, we set a thing, a yearly thing, that this is when that particular process starts every year. Excellent. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, and item number two, we actually already took, already took care of. Um, item number three, Mr. O'Connor. Right. Of course. Item number three is um, to begin the process of goal setting for the next evaluation cycle. Uh, so this item I added on uh, just because this is a continuous cycle and I think it's important to remember that it's a cycle. Right. So as we're going through the evaluation period, um, not just as a subcommittee, but as a uh, as an entire body is that as we're doing that, we're keeping the other indicators in mind so that we can then use those moving forward through the 22-23 school year evaluation. So I just wanted to put that on for informational purposes. Um, and as like a helpful tip that I learned last year as we were going through the indicators, it, it made sense where to put the focus on. So. Okay. Um, Open it up for any questions. I, I, no, I wholeheartedly agree. I agree so, as well. All right. So should we just um, just keep item three like laid on the table, just kind of as a reminder for us, like when we meet again, that it's because it was. So I know I'm the only one from this committee that's right. done it before. So I just wanted to put on that it's almost like you're ending and starting at the same time. Right. 
So uh, even though we're looking at those indicators, and even last year, some of the indicators overlapped. So you know that it can be similar, but as you're kind of considering the indicators um, and where you know where the next steps are for our district, right. I think it makes sense to kind of just note them for yourself, and then we can meet following the evaluation to mm -hmm. bring together everybody's thoughts on that. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. That's great too. I just also want to say. Um, that I actually had a, uh, recently had a brief conversation also too with the superintendent, and this is just about you know not just us, but there's a lot of districts that really in need of hiring. So if anybody's qualified, I, I certainly love them to go on to the the website um, to look. There's a lot of positions out there, and certainly we need to hire some more people out there. But you know, I know the superintendent and their staff is doing the best to try to hire these people as quick as, you know, the most qualified people to get in here. So it's just something that it's not just us, it's it's all, you know, Boston's even worse, worse than nation. us, you know. Like I said, it's just it's a nationwide. shortage everywhere. It's not even actually, not even in, I mean, it's certainly education, but it's just a lot of jobs. And I tell you, there's places like, I was I just, on a, on, a, on a side note, I was up in North Conway for the last few days, and places were closing early at 5 o'clock because they just didn't have the help some wait staff and things like that. So this is a lot of different sectors, you know, but. Oh, thank you. Um, and with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh, so move, Madam Chair. Second the motion. Motion made to adjourn. Roll Although, call. Uh, <laughs> roll call vote. Of course. Mr. Magan. Yes. Ms. Cristiano. Yes. Chair Lambert. Yes, and we will see you on Monday.